In May, I had the opportunity to go down to the Grand Design Show in London so I could meet Colin and Patricia, who are the founders and creators of Pivot. This is a product I've recently discovered and I absolutely love it. I think it's such a fantastic idea. Basically, it's a bed that can transition from a bed into a fully functional squat rack, which includes a bench, pull-up bar, some bars you can attach so you can do tricep dips, it comes with the TRX as well. This is great for someone who doesn't have the space to have a dedicated room as a gym in their house. It's something where you can just easily transition from a bedroom into a gym, back to a bedroom again. Whilst I was there, I wanted to take the opportunity to ask them a few questions about some of the objections I've heard a couple of people have, and they do a great job of just challenging these objections and just proving what a great product they've got. I've got a quick question about the suitability of being on a first floor for the pivot. So I've been talking to a lot of people about it. I think it's a fantastic product. Um, but I've had a couple of people who've just, I think they've almost assumed it's a US company and that the fact that this would be perfect in a basement. And they think that actually it wouldn't work in the UK because of most spare bedrooms are on the second floor. First off, we're a, we're a very British company. Everything is done in the UK. Um, and as to the suitability of our product for first floor, second floor, we have hundreds of customers worldwide, very often in apartments in the first, second floor. Um, we don't have any problems with it. Uh, primarily, we like to think about it in terms of the weight of a number of people. For example, the bed is 160 kilograms, 350 pounds, uh, or two people. So that's never going to be a problem for any flooring. Uh, and if you go up to the, the, the bigger packages, even when you've got weights on it, it's a small amount for any even reasonably modern floor. And the other question that I've had a bit is about the ease of the assembly of the unit and is it something that has to be attached to a wall or is it freestanding? It takes about half a day to assemble. It's user assembly. Um, we provide very high quality instructions and we provide branded tools for everything. So we, we have no problems there. It needs to be mounted to the wall because of the way any wall bed pivots. It can become a slight safety issue so it's not about securing it to the wall for when you're exercising, it is totally freestanding. Um, imagine that most people will use Pivot as a gym and that room is set up as a gym primarily until they need a spare room, in which case they can easily fold it down. Is that mo how most people tend to use it? Primarily, that is the, that's the sweet spot, is if you've got a guest room, our customers use it as their, their walk-in gym, their dedicated exercise zone. Uh, every day of the week and then for the few weekends a year when they've got the relatives or friends staying the bed comes down within about a minute and it's their very comfortable beds but we also have people who use it as their uh, their main bed uh, and because it's so easy to put down and back up again they, they do that every day 